Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing causal and non-causal systems. Okay. So it is one of the important topic that you should know. You know, in discrete time signals and systems. So the question will come on this part also, like. Uh, check whether the system is causal or non-causal right so you should be knowing these things like which systems are called as causal and which systems are called as non-causal systems fine so a causal system is one where the output at any given time n is solely dependent on the present input past inputs and the past outputs okay without any reliance on future inputs or future outputs it means what a system is said to be causal if the output of the system at any time n depends only on the present input past input and past outputs okay but does not depend upon the future inputs or future outputs that type of systems are called was a causal system so hope it is clear to you fine so you should know what is a future input what is future output past inputs right so for that i have mentioned these things here let me explain you this part first so suppose x of n is what present input so x of n is what a present input and y of n is what present output fine so if you see anywhere like x of n minus 1 x of n minus 2 x of n minus 3 these terms are what past inputs past inputs okay and if you see anywhere y of n minus 1 y of n minus 2 y of n minus 3 these terms are what past outputs past outputs okay and what are future inputs or future outputs so for that these two examples are there so x of n plus 1 x of n plus 2 x of n plus 3 these are what future future inputs fine and if you talk about this y of n plus 1 y of n plus 2 y of n plus 3 so these are basically what future outputs future outputs so you should be knowing these terms at least okay so what is y of n what is x of n and this all things okay fine now let's move further and see the definition for what a non causal system so in a simple way a system that relies on future inputs or future outputs is referred to as non causal systems and they are not physically realizable fine so this is what a non causal system and if we talk about the causal systems so they are what physically realizable understood okay so now let's move further and see some more points so causality is what causality is a crucial aspect of a system as it pertains to real time feasibility it means what in another word a causal system is one that can be implemented and observed in real time that is what i mentioned right they are physically realizable clear now let's see few examples so suppose you have y of n is equal to n into x of n okay so what is this this is x of n right so x of n is what present input y of n is what present output so here the output depends upon the present input so this is what a causal system fine 
let's move further so it is given like y of n is equal to x of n minus 2 x of n minus 1 and plus x of n this is what present input and this 2 if you see n minus 2 n minus 1 this is what past input so here the output depend upon the past inputs as well as present input so again causal system causal system fine now let's see the next example so y of n is equal to what x of n plus x of n plus 2 if you see this x of n plus 2 this is what future input so here your system output is dependent upon the future input that is why this is what a non-causal system this is what a non-causal system so hope this is also clear to you fine okay now let's move further so it has been demonstrated that a linear time invariant system is causal only if the impulse response is 0 for n is smaller than 0. It means what? It means, you know, it can be shown that an LTI system is causal if and only if h of n, which is basically what? Impulse response is 0 impulse response is 0 for n smaller than 0 right hope it is clear to you fine now let me tell you one more thing so we have a delay element right so a delay element is what a causal system whereas an image processing system is a non-causal system just i thought of to give you one example okay so delay element is what a causal system and image processing system is a non-causal system okay fine so hope these things are what clear to you so if you have any doubt on this causal and non-causal systems then please Ask your doubt in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.